Welcome. Thank you very much. Is it the case, uh, Noel, that the first time you appeared on The Late Late Show uh, was because your mother insisted you do that? Yes. <laughs> Why was she so insistent? I don't know, because she stayed back at the hotel having a drink. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't come out with you? No, she didn't, no. Uh, I don't know, because it's an institution in this country, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so you, but you, so you did I it. guess it's like top of the pops. She was like, once you've been on that, you've made it now. So. <laughs> Well, anyway, welcome back. Yeah, well, thank you very much. You, you do a very uh, special relationship with Ireland, clearly, I mean... Well, yeah, yeah, of course. We, my, both my parents are Irish, so we virtually grew up here in the yeah. 60s and 70s, yeah. And where did you go and what were you doing? Uh, usually to my mum's or my grandma's place in Charlestown in Mayo. Yeah. Doing that, just running around the fields, throwing stuff at cows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you see, we get that in Manchester, because we don't get cows, so if you see one, you just throw stuff at them. <laughs> So that was your summer holiday. I don't do it anymore, by the yeah. way. <laughs> and did you feel Irish growing up, Noel, or was it very... Well, much? yeah, I mean, we, we come from a, a huge family, so um, they all lived very, very... or still do live very close together in Manchester, within kind of two miles of each other. Yeah. And I've got, you know, cousins... Cousins that I was still meeting for the first time the other night in Manchester. There's so many of them. And, um, yeah, I had, I, had, I, had, I had an Irish upbringing. And do you do? You said your mum's part was was Mayo, and your dad's side were they? Also? Was Meath in uh, Dulic, which we passed on the way. Good. Into town last night. Yeah. And if we, even though you're obviously you're in the UK all the time, do you do you call back to? The I've Irishers? not been back for maybe. I think the last time I was back was five years ago. Um, but um, I tried to get back. I've not brought my sons over yet. Yeah. But my daughter's been. But um, I'm looking forward to bringing my sons, so they can throw stuff at cows as well. Yeah, yeah, the next generation. Of... That's a joke, by the way. Did you, uh, <laughs> but is it important to you, the Irish thing, or do you see it as just an, ac an accident of birth? Or... Well, I, don't, I get asked that a lot, and it's, yeah. not, it's not, it just is. Yeah. I don't, I don't attach any importance to it. I'm not a professional first-generation Irish person. There's plenty of them in London, you know. Well, there is, I mean, I'm sure you've met, you know. And, um, yeah, yeah, of course. I'm, you know, there's no English blood in me, you know what I mean? I don't have to prove that to anybody, that's just a fact, you know what I mean? And I don't, I don't set say, aside particular days for being Irish. Maybe St. Patrick's Maybe Day. Maybe March. But that's it, but, you know, <laughs> but that's it. Um, but, um, it's, you know, yeah. I, 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 my ancestors are from here, that's a fact. Did you ever play in, in Croke Park? I have, I'm about to play there in the summer when I'm uh, opening up for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but I've played, I used to play Gaelic football. Uh, not professionally, of course. Uh, in uh, <laughs> with uh, a team from Manchester, we were under 14, 16, and 18 champions uh, consecutively. Were you? And and what we were, yeah, what yeah, did yeah. you play with the team? Uh, what position? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. No, I don't, no, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember. But well, we were called O'Sheens, whatever that means. I don't know. Yeah. And uh, we came to Dublin to play uh, like exhibition matches against some Dublin teams. We were hammered. But there is a photograph of me scoring a point at Croke Park. In Croke Park? Yeah. I mean, I haven't got the photograph, but there is a photograph. Yeah, so, so, so yeah. actually, when I was asking you about did you play Croke Park, I wasn't quite sure <laughs> where that was going to go. Would you actually played in, yeah, the, played, in, yeah, in yeah, the whole yeah, yeah. thing? Yeah. We have a few members of uh, the Dublin football team so who I went believe. and did. Do say hello, lads, give us a wave. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, some of our finest uh, sportsmen here today. <laughs> Do you want to come up? Well, why don't you come up and meet? Say hello to, to Noel and and uh, maybe I'm present a Dublin jersey. jersey. Thank you very That's much. It's a Dublin jersey. Same colour as Man City now, so I That's hope right. You. <laughs> <laughs> hope you wear it. Thank you very much. Nice there you go. Man. Okay. Nice Say hello. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, lad. It's fine. So, so get that straight on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> you'll do that later. Uh, you also, you know, it's, it's funny thinking about that because you, you're Man City in the same colours. When when your album went straight to one with the High Flying Birds, you that was a particularly good day, I think, for you on the calendar, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the day uh, Man City demolished United six one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, indeed. You're happy about that, yeah. yeah. And uh, I was sat watching it in the hotel um, before I went to uh, before I went to the gig, and it was. And during the match, I got the phone call to say that um, my album had gone to number one. Yeah. I've never been so underwhelmed as a record going to number one. <laughs> anyway, I was just like, great, thanks, but whatever. You know, it's yeah. like we've just gone 4 one up or something. But um, it was a great day. If maybe... 
I won't say it's better than the day I got married because she'd gone mad, but it's right... <laughs> it's right up there with that. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> And which was it? The album? The 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 result? Oh, the result. Uh, the the result is key. I've had nine number yeah. one albums. I'm not bothered about them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the, the football was a once in a lifetime. Thing. Yeah. I was actually on my knees in front of the television when they scored the sixth. <laughs>